Right, welcome to a no-nonsense tackle. We're on the banks at Lindome Lakes tonight. We're going to do, well this evening, we're going to do a little bit of margin fishing. Now, Midair have sent me this pole. As you can see, it's the M2G Pulse Extreme Animal Tamer 10 meter margin pole. So, they've sent me this to try out and I thought, perfect opportunity, come to Loco some big fish in here, fish down the margin. What I'm gonna do is fish into the next peg with ground bait, two big dendras on the hook, and hopefully we're gonna catch some monster fish. So I thought it'd be perfect opportunity, give this M2 margin pole a go, and uh, tell you what I think of it, and see if we can catch a few fish, basically. So, what do you get with the pole? We'll just wait until this bloody plane goes over. And it's gone over, thank goodness. Right, so with the M2 margin pole, you get a case with it. Comes in a case, nice enough case. Um, you yeah, know, what can I say? It's, it's a decent enough case, but I think, uh, you know, we're putting poles in hard cases now. And um, to, get, to get the pole in a nice little case that you can put it in, it's not too bad, is it? So, yeah, nice, nice bit of a case with the pole. You can fit probably five or six top kits in it, plus your pole and plus what, whatever extras you've got with it. So, what comes with this kit? Now this is originally £299, but I have seen it cheaper, so I've looked online, I've done a little bit of research on it, and the tackle shops are selling it for around about £200, which is a decent enough, um, decent enough price for a, a margin pole. Now, you get with it, First of all, you get this like butt section. Now, this is, um, it's called a mini butt portal reverse. So this goes into the six and seventh section. So I'm assuming it just gives it that bit of, it's tough as nails that. It just gives it that bit of, um, let's, see if, let's see if it fits on the end then. So this is the end of the pole. So I'm assuming that's a seven. So it just gives you that little bit of extra. So you've got half a section there, what if you if you can't if you can't get anywhere on the pole or something, it just gives you that extra section. So where does it, where else does this go? This is the first time I'm using it, so obviously that's not gonna go in there, but does it go into this one here? No. No. So it's it's it goes in the end there basically. So it gives you that extra. So basically it's ten and a half meters long in it. And you can uh, you can hold that strong as anything so first instance on the pole you get that butt section with it the pole itself feels really really strong and it's got these uh, it's got these like little um, points where you mark it up apparently that makes it even stronger if you mark it up on the sections where it tells you to mark it up and put the pole in so let's let's put it all together shall we there we go, look, there's a little mark there, and we're gonna mark it on there. So that's that one. This is the third one. This is the last one. Apparently, the, the third section, or is it the fourth, one of them is doubled up. So it gives you that extra stability. I think it's the fourth one. When you're shipping down. Yeah, it's that fourth, fourth bit here. It looks to be even stronger. So, let's line them up nicely. So that's all lined up now. And holding that, it's, it's not bad at all. Let's get a top kit on. So as well with this, you get two top kits. Now, you get, the first top kit was a match top kit, and this is it, but it's like a four piece and I thought, well, it's, it's a margin pole, this. What's it doing with a match, match top kit? You don't really need that. So you got this section, you got these two sections with it, plus you got this other bit as well to make it into a match top kit. I didn't really understand that because it's a, supposed to be a margin tamer or animal tamer, as we say. So I got rid of that. I chucked that out and I thought, don't need that. Waste of time. So... Um, these are already cut out to put a puller bung in, which is nice. You don't have to mess about with it. And that's the first thing that I thought. 
So I chucked that away, that other top bit, what you get with it, don't need that. And I've elasticated it myself. Midi did send me, so you don't get any elasticate with it or PTF bungs or anything like that with it. But you do get the puller kit already, already set up, which is quite nice. You ain't got to mess about drilling holes in your top kits. So, in this one, I went to the tackle shop, got me sent a PTF bung, cut it back a little bit, because I wanted to make them both the same length and get the elastic in. Now, the elastic I've got in the black one is this Reactor Core 20 to 14 elastic, and this is a hollow elastic, um, and it looks quite nice. It feels nice. I'd probably use that down the margin myself, so 20 to 24, that one, Reactor Core elastic. In the other one, so we'll talk about that elastic after. So that was it. Put the elastic in, put the PTF bung in, sorted the elastic out. It were easy enough with the puller already done, and that's all set up now. So that's one top kit done. You also get another top kit, which is the white one. I, I really like this one miles better. I just prefer a white top kit when you when you're fishing. Don't give that glare on the water or anything like that. So I, I do prefer this one. And I just think it's a little bit smarter. So to me, I'd ditch the match kit and I'd, just, I'd have two of these really. So in this one, again, you get, the, you get the side puller kit there already cut out for you. So you ain't got to mess about. Um, I took it to the tackle shop, cut it back a little bit, put the PTF bung in. And in this one, I've got the blue elastic. Now this blue elastic, again, reactor core, and this is a 30 elastic. It says it's, it can take up to 30 elastic, so they've sent me some 30 elastic. And we, we've, I've put that in, I thought, Let, let's go ahead, let's get this And I've never used really, really tough elastic before, but I'll tell you what, that is strong. So I've whacked that in. And um, <laughs> it's, it's very, very strong. So we'll see if we hook one, we'll see what it's like. Um, so that's that. Um, again, I just prefer the white top kit. So that's that one done. So that's what you get with it. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything else, but that's what you get with the top kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some bait in down this corner. Like I said, I'm going to fish ground bait. I'm going to mix some ground bait, get the ground bait in. The only thing is you don't get a cupping kit with it. So. I'm only going to use what I've got with it, so I'm probably going to put a cup on enemy pole and what I'm going to have to do is, I'll probably chuck a few balls of ground baiting down edge. Like I said, I'd normally use a cupping kit, cup it in nice and easy, but I'm only using what I've got with the pole and what they've sent me. So I haven't got a cupping kit with it, it would be nice I suppose if um, maybe you paid that little bit extra and got that cupping kit with it, I'm sure you can order one online. So that's it, I'm going to mix some ground bait and we're going to test this pole out, see if we can get one of these munters here on the loco and give this pole some hammer. We've got one on this, first, first proper bite down there. We had a couple of annoying little perch and then it's just stormed up under and we've got a proper one on. Oh! You can half give them some on this. You don't even need to use that puller on this blooming 30 elastic. I think it's foul looked, it is foul looked. That's why we're going absolutely crackers. And it's a big F1. So that was it. It's a biggish F1, what, about a pound and a half, but I thought it were a proper carp, that. So, all we're fishing, double dender. We just had that F1, and then back to getting a few small fish, but I've just sneaked a couple of mussels off Alan Norrish. Let's just stun them. Just ducked in the head, and then like you stun them like that. Two big long worms. Don't 
just feel nice in your arms this Paul, the hands and everything, it's lovely and smooth. We'll drop it where we marked up. Just got it over both knees, nice and easy, and when it goes, just lift up. But yeah, first, first thoughts on it, to be honest. I um, I really do like the pull, and that's not just saying that as well because you know if it weren't very good I'd tell people, but it's strong as a bloody ox. This. See if we can get one of them big carp down edge. Oh, that were a bob, weren't it? I think what we'll do is, I'll carry on fishing here, and what I'll do is I'll take this pole as well to New Begin, one of my local ponds, while we're waiting for a carp, and you can enjoy that while I'm trying to catch a carp, and then we'll come back. So uh, we'll cut there, and we'll go to New Begin Ponds up by me, and see how I get on with it. Right, so fishing wise, what we've got on here is we've got the uh, we've got the big dirty <laughs> 30 in, <laughs> big dirty 30 elastic in. Uh, what we've got on the, the um, is 020 line, 30 elastic, the blue. See how we get on with that. We've got a margin float on the ultra margin from Tony Brooks, absolute perfect float. That's a point four. Going down to the end, which is a size 12 hook, double cone on there, and a bottom of 017. So 019 to 017. That is it. That's what we're going to go for. We're going to fill this up. So on the side tray, we've got corn and we've got pellets. That's all we've got today. No micros because I don't want them little fish coming in the peg. But what we're going to do is we're just going to fill a toss pot up. Put some micros in, top it off with a bit of corn, like so, and then we're going to go down this edge here. So, let's get down this edge, see if we can get one first chuck in, shall we? Straight away that. Hey up, this is going, this is going. Let's move out with the old pole there. Turn it round so you can see. That uh, the pole seems to bend quite uh, quite a lot with that elastic in. But uh, oh it looks a nice fit. Oh it is a bigish one. Let's just move out without taking some line, taking some some of that elastic. God, yeah, it is uh, does the job that <laughs> 25 to 30 elastic, doesn't it? Bloody hell! God, this is it. It's going again, eh? See, the lovely thing about margin poles is that you've got no problem it because it ain't going to break. And especially this, uh, this, oh, too much. You see, that's where that elastic 
maybe a little bit too heavy. They were giving it giving it too much there you see. So maybe fish knocking about now maybe it is a little bit too big for uh, this sort of fishing and uh, you probably use it for like 20 pounders or something like that if you're fishing at Lindome or something on Loco or or somewhere like Viaduct or something like that but uh, yeah maybe it is a bit too thick but we'll carry on with it we'll see if we can catch a few more and see what uh, what happens but first fish bloody lost it and it were a, a, a lovely fish as well so Let's get back in, see if we can catch another. There we go, lovely mirror carp. Only about four pound, but they are. They don't half go, and that's why I love coming up here. To new begin. Fantastic venue. We've hooked into another one down there. Seems a better fish. At least in them bloody skimmers. Let's see if we can get this in. Give it a bit of a hammer. Straight to the top kit. Don't go down there. Give it some, David. Go on. God, they still fight these F1s, aren't they? There we go, look. A small F1 about. Worth about two and a half pound. Three pound, I would have thought. Worms hanging out of its mouth. There we go. Not the uh, animal tamer that we wanted, were it? But it'll do. Double dendy down there. So let's go back in, see if we can get another one. Double worm. Oops. There we go, double worm. Down that edge again. I put the butt section on to see if it's any different with that on. And um, it's quite nice. It's not uh, it's not floppy or anything like that. It's you can see that I don't really need it on, but I stuck it on anyway, just so that when I hit one, I can if it wants to go and go and go, I can give it uh, a little bit more out there. But we'll get another five or ten minutes on this. If we don't get a carp, I mean, like I say, it's only another. Oh, God's sake, blooming skimmer. It's only a little video. Another blooming little skimmer. Oh, foul hooked as well. Great, thanks for coming. Don't want you today. Like I say, it's only a little video just to test this pole out, see what it could do, and I thought, get on the loco, we'll catch some of them big carp, but you know, if they're not feeding, they're not feeding, are they? And I think, you know, I've put that ground bait in and pellets and what have you down there, but really do think we're missing out on that cupping kit. But uh, like I said, I'm sure you can, you can buy them, but uh, just didn't get given one with the pole, so. I'm assuming you won't get one if you buy the pole, you'd have to ask for one on top. So we'll give it another go, another bloody plane going over. Just love it if we could get a carp and just see how it does how it does uh, Them big low 
go carp would be fantastic wouldn't it and then give it give it a good try out on this but uh, if it don't it don't you know we can't can't make them That's a bite, and it's another blooming skimmer. Oh. Good at catching skimmers, this pole. And they're all the same blooming size as well. So, we've had a go with the pole. Um, thoughts on it, really strong, really tough, um, pretty much unbreakable, to be honest. Um, I know we haven't caught any carp. Um, all we've had is F1s and a few skimmers and what have you. I did think we were going to give it a good test on loco, but for some reason the car park thing, you can only, you can only fish for what uh, the fish are in front of you. So, um, I'll give it some stick though, and um, it's really tough, really strong, and really nice pole to be honest. I am a bit um, disappointed. I probably didn't catch any carp because I couldn't feed my ground bait and what have you because I got no cup with it. So that is probably one of the main points. If you do buy this pole or you do have a look at margin poles, make sure you get a cupping kit with it. Um, that would be the first thing I would say. But for anything else, you know what I mean? Like I said, this pole's uh, 299 and I have seen it in the shops at 199 at the minute. So a bit of a bargain to be honest with two top kits. Nice little bag, nice little butt section as well. So it gives you that extra um, half a section at the end um, if you're fishing down the edge. So to be honest, I would give this pole, I'd probably give it nine out of 10. Like I said, the only thing that I'd make it 10 out of 10 is that cupping kit. Maybe you could get that with a deal or something like that. So uh, I'd definitely have a look at it. So if you are in the market for a new pole or a new margin pole, I would definitely give this a go. Um, like I said, it's perfect for if you're just starting out match fishing or even pleasure fishing and you want something really strong um, that you're going to fish down the margin or just fish in front of you to be honest, you fish at top 2 plus 2, anything like that, 10 metres a pole. There's other ones in the range, there's an 11 metre, 11.5 um, metre and a 13 metre I think in the range. I did say it earlier, I can't remember off the top of my head now. but. And the elastic, the reactor, uh, reactor core elastic, very nice. I do prefer the 20 to 24, which is the red elastic rather than the purple one. The purple one seems a bit too beefy for, for me, but if you are fishing an ultimate snag, proper pit and you need that, you know, then it's handy to have in your top kit to range that big elastic, you know, with a with um, like an 020 line or some 022 line and just absolutely tear them fish out of that margin. So I suppose that's what it's for. It's not it's not really that floppy, um, you know, and as margin poles go, it's absolutely perfect. And it took, like I said, two, you can get it for 200 quid um, at the moment. I just, I just buy one and put it in my rod bag really for match fishing. Um, I've not seen these poles or not used them before or anything like that, but I would definitely have a look at the other range and it'd be nice to see what their flagship poles are, knowing that this one is a really nice pole and I'm not just saying that. So like I said, let's end it there. I'll give it nine out of 10, just need that cupping kit and it's absolutely perfect. So I hope you enjoyed that review. Um, and we'll do some more. So thanks for watching this guys, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.